welcome friends to excel beginners and advanced tips friends today i will not talk about any database or any database i will not create any database today today i want to have fun with excel vba codes friends here you can see the image files i have some image files here and you can see the complete path of the image files here you can see the heading I have given this is image and under this you can see few image files which I, I have in my computer you may have more image files friends in your computer and now friends I want to display these images inside a image control in a user form and the images will be displayed one by one after a specific interval so friends let's see I have already created a user form here you can see this just click here and you can see the user form here you can see friends I have taken a level and has been and I, I have given the caption of the level as slideshow and back color of the level I have created I have given this back color you can see I have chosen this back color here I have taken a frame and within the frame you can see there is the image control and uh, you can see the property of the frame that is the border style is one frame here that means it will be it the border will be will look prominently and the border color of the frame is black here you can see it's black and within this frame I have taken a image control you can see the image control here friends I have taken image control within this frame here this is the image control frame here friends this is the image control here you can see I have taken this and dragged this in such a shape the rectangular shape and below this <coughs> and below this friends I have taken a command button and giving a giving the name of this caption is show and whenever I will click on the show button the images which are located or existed in the sheet one will be displayed here is the sheet images these images will be displayed inside the image control one by one after a specific interval so that it will look like a slideshow now friends the commands behind the slideshow you can see here here you can see few lines of codes will do our task here friends I have taken a error variable and inside the error vari variable you can see this line of code that means sheet one dot cells within bracket rows dot count comma one dot end excel app dot row that means it will go to the last row where data is existed of the sheet one and it will hold the value in row variable and then I have used a for loop here you can see for x is equal to 2 to row because the you can see here from the second row there is a image file image file image files are started from the second row so it will count from the second row it will as I have taken this x is equal to 2 to e row that means it will start from 2 to the end of the row where the data is existed in C1 and then I have taken a variable i and I have assigned the i is the value of C1 dot cells x comma 1 that means I will take the value from the second row first column that is it will start from this here it will start from this then it will come here 
it will be, it will come here then you and, and up to this the loop will go up to this and then friends image one dot picture this is the image control friends inside the frame and the name you can see here this is image one and hence I have written this image one dot picture is equal to load picture I that means here this file will be loaded has been assigned to I and I will be loaded here that means the image will be loaded inside the image one image one control that means our image control which it has given the name which the as the image one you can change this friends so for the, for this moment I don't want to change this and then friends to pause the picture or to hold the picture for little while so that it look it will look better I have applied the wet wet method and application dot wet you can see here application dot, dot wet within bracket now now means present date and time now means present date and time plus time value I have just I, I will just work with the time value friends this will this is the first double zero will as I will denote the value of hour the interval of hour and the second double zero denotes the interval of minutes and the third zero one means it will denote the interval of second here friends I want to hold the I want to hold the picture I want the time gap between the between the picture between pictures is just one second after every one second there will be the picture will be coming the new picture will be coming up to the last row of the sheet one where the picture files are existed and then friends I have closed this with a parenthesis and finally I have given another parenthesis to close the whole method wait okay friends and then I have concluded next with I have concluded the for loop here which I started from this line and I have com completed next X that means it will be completed when the X will go to the Edo that means the last row of the sheet one where the image files are existed that means the last the last image files now friends if I run this let's see what happens if I go to show button if I click on the show button see the images are being displayed automatically one by one and whenever it will come to the last image last image file you can see in the background here in the sheet you can see the last image file is named as red forest one dot jpg these are all jpg files friends you can see and when it will reach here the loop will be stopped completed the loop will be completed for loop will be completed concluded and it will be stopped so friends you can see the codes here this is these are the very easy easy code codes you can see first I have assigned the you know I have assigned you know that we a variable the, the last row of the sheet one that means the last row of the sheet one where the, the image file is where the last image file is existed and then I have used the for loop for x is equal to 2 to 0 then I have assigned i to i with the value of sheet 1 dot cells x comma 1 that means the first column of the second row x here you can see the value of x has been started with 2 the second row from the second row of the sheet 1 and then I have image 1 dot picture that I have assigned the image 1 control image control which which is a which is, wh the name of which is image one 
dot picture is equal to load picture i that means it will load the picture i i means the name of the file the path file path which you can that, that, that is stored in i here you can see the file path of the sheet one and then i have a wait of one second between the display of every picture and i have used this application dot wait within bracket now plus time value within bracket and within parenthesis zero zero is to zero zero is to zero one that means just for one second interval for every between the between every image then i have concluded the for loop with next so friends just going uh, to the run section here and again clicking in the show button here you can see all the images are being displayed one by one so friends if you have many some more files it will look better it would have been better uh, to look the to view the slideshow so friends as i have this few this the uh, this few image files so i i will copy here this all these image files and will again paste it below this so that it it will take longer and it will sh and the slideshow will be more beautiful so friends i i am sure that you have more you have more image files in your desktop or in your computer and that will that will be better to make a slideshow because the show will be longer and longer so that's friends i have copied and pasted here and now i will show here every slides will be displayed after a specific interval here friends you can see the slides are being will be displayed here one by one just giving back going back has come to the last section here i'm just going again there and show button you can see just you can see friends slides are being uh, images are being displayed one by one is not it beautiful friends it's looking very beautiful and repeatedly all the files are being displayed is looking very nice so friends it has come to our last image file and it has been stopped so friends thank you very much friends for viewing this and if you found it little helpful please subscribe this channel friends and it will be a great joy for us great boost for us friends thank you friends thank you so much have fun with vba course thank you friends once again